Hey, what's up, YouTube? We are back on the channel with another reaction video, and today we're going to be checking out another one from Love Bite. We've done two of these so far, and I've been blown away both times. Now, this one is a song called Swan Song. I've been recommended this one a lot. Apparently, it starts off with a little bit of piano interlude here, some Chopin in the very beginning. Now, I'm a big fan of classical music, so I'm really interested in this one. I know Chopin was... He was one of those people like, you know what, I paid for 88 keys on this piano, I'm going to use all 88 keys. If you've ever listened to his work, it is just absolutely beautifully frantic, which really goes along with the whole Love Bites theme of how they play their music. So I'm really excited about this one. So this one is a live one from uh, 2020, I think it was, uh, from their Five of a Kind tour. So I'm really excited to see how this one goes. I'm going to put a link in the original video in the, to, in the video description down below if you want to go check it out without my interruptions on there. If you enjoyed the video, throw me a like on there and know that I appreciate that. And let's get to the song. That is phenomenal. Okay, I gotta pause after that. That was fantastic. Like I said, Chopin likes to use every key on the piano, and you can see just the way she played that when she done those runs from way down all the way back up, hitting all the minors and the sharps and everything else, all the way up flawlessly, just as fast as humanly possible. That was beautiful. That really was. That is a that's a talent I wish I had. I'm there's no chance. I couldn't even fake it if somebody else was playing it. I couldn't even move my fingers along with it. That was beautiful. Well done. Absolutely well done. Okay, let's continue. Listen to that drum, the gallop that she's got going on. Yeah, okay, so listen, the, drum, uh, the guitars are playing just a harmonic, you know, just kind of a small scales, beautiful. But listen to the, the gallop of the drums back there. She's got the double kick going, just a, a fast snare, fast hi-hat going. F listen to it. She is kicking ass back there. Oh. Oh, it's so cool.
Oh man. That's got like a Okay, the okay, first off, I'll just touch on the the vocals. Of course, she's sounds beautiful, of course. It's just absolutely fantastic. She sings at a much higher register than uh, normal. She is not falsetto. Uh, she's singing, it sounds like more like in the, the back of her face. It's not a chesty sound. It's not real in the throat. It sounds like it's more like right up in here, which is not bad. That's just a, how some people sing. But she doesn't have a tremendous amount of vibrato in her voice, just the right amount. She holds it for just a little bit there. She's not overdoing it there. But let's also go into the instrumentations. Guitar players are just in sync, of course, like normal, shredding it, kicking ass, doing all kinds of cool things with it. And just to listen to this part here, after the vocals end, they get into even more shredding, while the German in the back is just kicking ass some more. This is... I love that gallop. I'm not entirely sure. I'm watching the video to see if I see it there, but it sounds like it sounds like somebody's doing runs on the piano as well. Um, I, I'm not quite sure which one originally played the piano. I think it was one of the guitar players, if I'm not mistaken, the one right here on the right side. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm still learning as much as I can about this band. I think so. So I can. It sounds like there's piano band. It could just be you know looped into the video itself there. But uh, man, this. This is just so cool. I love the way this sounds. Okay, so I see the piano. Nobody's playing it. Okay. Dude, that was kick ass. Oh my god, that that was so good. You know, just the tap ons, whatever, without doing the picking there. Oh, I know I gush over this all the time, but it's like there's so much epicness going on at the same time. It's almost to the point where it's like there's so much epicness. Both guitars just destroying it. Drummer's back there is just she's in a universe of her own over there. And even the bass player, it's not real heavy. I mean, you can kind of hear the bass. It's mixed just right. So you can hear the bass. Even she's doing a thing back there, man. I also want to say, I love the way the auto is recorded. If you've never listened to like this song with some good headphones on, which I'm using some good headphones, it's mixed very well. Guitar A, guitar B is over here. So you can hear them and you can hear the two different guitars. It's not just one melded sound there. You can differentiate it. And when the piano was going, it was kind of panning, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh my God, this sounds so cool. It just sounds so cool.
nonchalantly shredding there. Piano, I can hear down. There she is. Okay, so I was right. That was just fantastic. That really was, man. I have a high level of respect for very skilled musicians when it comes to musical instruments. I just always have, of course, you know, vocals. I have a, you know, a, an appreciation for high level of skill and vocals too. But to see the guitarist go from just, you know, masterfully playing one instrument to masterfully playing another, that's just absolutely crazy there. And I have to say, the drummer, one of the things that I like about that is how their drum is tuned. I mean, she's just absolutely tearing it up back there, but everything's very even. It's not like sometimes you get a drum that the, the tuning for like the, uh, the snare or the hi-hats or the toms or something, it's not even. So every time they hit it, it just sounds like heavier than all the rest of them. Hers are like perfectly tuned so that it's a nice, full, clean melody all the way through when she's just tearing it up back there. I love it. I think she'd be one of those that could probably do like Tommy Lee or Jordy Jordanson or whatever, like go up and drum set spinning around in circles and her just nonchalantly tearing it up. But that would be really cool, man. I bet, I bet she could pull it off without even breaking a sweat. Masterfully skillful artists are fun to watch. I really catch myself just grinning while I'm watching these and I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for recommending this. I'm glad you did. I'm glad I checked out. This is why I like doing these reactions of being able to learn of new artists and get a chance to experience it for the first time with you guys. So definitely keep those suggestions coming. Drop them in the comments down below. I do read all of them. Even if I don't respond, I do see all of them there. So thank you so much for all the support on this channel so far. I'm having a fantastic time with it. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you want to stick around and see some more, make sure you subscribe. It's free. If you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. Links in the video description down below, uh, down below as well. Um, in the meantime, thank you guys for everything, and I'll catch you in the next one.